Hey guys, Jared here, Meg. Netic Men's Club, I hope everyone's doing well. The title of this video, it says it all. Drizzle, drizzle. If you've never heard this term, go Google it. Go on TikTok, go on Instagram, go on Snapchat. Type in drizzle, drizzle, soft guy era, and you will see what I'm talking about. Influencers and new people coming into this movement, mostly men, and the idea of the drizzle drizzle movement from what I believe is really just a parody on the hypocrisy of the sprinkle Str sprinkle movement. Now the sprinkle sprinkle movement started in 2023 by an influencer named Shira Seven. Her real name, Leticia Potty. Apologize if I'm saying the last name wrong. She started the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement and the idea behind the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement was women want a soft life. And some of her videos claim that if a guy is broke, stay away from him. If a guy can't take, a, take care of 100% of a girl's needs, then he is broke, he's not worth it. So it's a very toxic form of relationship advice that she's putting out there. And that's okay because she has a forum and I respect all influencers out there because anytime you take a position on something, you're going to get shit from other people. And so I respect people who have thick skin and can understand that you are going to piss off a lot of people. Having said that, the drizzle drizzle movement does just that. It makes fun of the ideology behind the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement. Now the two influencers that developed the Drizzle Drizzle movement was Little Goody, if I say the, the name wrong, I linked it down below so you can look at who they are and Scarface Mark 375. These two guys started the Drizzle Drizzle movement really as a parody and a lot of guys jumped on it and started creating mock videos mocking out what some women say about dating and they created drizzle drizzle slash the soft guy era and i'm gonna let in this first clip is scarface mark 375 explaining what the drizzle drizzle movement is all about. You simply cannot just compare the two. It's like comparing the moon to the sun. We are not the same. Us soft guy era men are dealing with women on the daily, but we're not settling for a bare minimum ass woman. The soft guy era movement is simply men not settling for less. We're not doing that anymore. We're not sitting here paying all the bills anymore. If you're gonna enter a man's life, you're either gonna come with something or turn around and get the fuck on. You women wanted equality. Y'all wanted to come into the workforce and work. So that's what you're gonna do. So now when it comes to dealing with a man, you're gonna come with something. You're not just gonna be sitting around trying to be pretty all day. No, you're going to be paying some bills and being a helpmate like you were made to be. A helpmate, not a leecher, not someone that just depends on a man. This is what the soft guy era is about. That was Scarface Mark 375, the co-creator of the Drizzle Drizzle movement. And Little Goody is this next clip and he explains why the movement came to existence. If a woman is not meeting your standards, we're not talking to them. They want a man that makes six figures. They want a man that's six feet, has a six pack, has everything going on for him, but they come with nothing. This is what you do. This is, exact, this is exactly how you move. Listen, the provider mindset is finished. It's 2024, these women are working, they ask for equality, and that's fine. We love a woman that gets her bag. You know it, you and your soft guy era. We love a woman that's gonna spend that money. Again, much respect to these two influencers. They have very large channels on TikTok, and they have growing channels like mine on YouTube. So give those guys the support if you like content like this. I feel like these guys just made this stuff funny, but there is an error of truth to it. Now, my take on the Drizzle Drizzle movement is I think it's funny. I think it gives men a forum to um, not just become funny, but kind of poke holes at this sprinkle sprinkle movement and <clears throat> hopefully get women to understand that just because you're beautiful, just because 
society says men are supposed to take care of 100% of the bills, that's changing. Men, our, our whole purpose in this life seems to be that we go to work, pay bills, and die. Where women feel like they're celebrated for going to work, making their money, they're able to spend their money on what they want to do, all while the guy is chipping in 100% for the bills just because she's a female. And because times are changing, because men are quite frankly fucking pissed off and just done with this, what you start seeing in the sprinkle sprinkle movement is the women, because they have no real position, they can't really come back on facts, is now they start making fun using shame, guilt, insults, the need to be right, and like I say, sign language, girls doing this and all this. Anytime somebody starts making fun of you using shame, guilt, and insults, you know you're winning. And so, all the guys are doing is pointing to the hypocrisy of the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement, shedding light on how stupid they sound, because we sound stupid when we say it, but women who say it, oh, they're intelligent. No, they sound just as stupid. And so when women start realizing how dumb they sound and how they're losing position on this and losing ground, and quite frankly, we're just doing it better than they are, the Drizzle Drizzle movement, I just saw on national TV, they did a um, maybe a 30 second or a one minute kind of explainer on this. I've never seen an explainer on Sprinkle Sprinkle. So once men collectively put our thoughts together and put our minds and team up, we're always unstoppable. Women typically fold. They create a movement and then once there's some pressure behind the this new movement like Drizzle Drizzle, they fold. And we know this because they use shame, guilt, insults, the need to be right. And so I love and I celebrate these two men who had the balls to first come out with it. And I love all the other influencers that come out and they make these videos. Some of them are really dumb. Some of them I think we can do without. But hey, to each his own. My take on it is gonna be just a little different on what I do on my channel. I wanted to do an explainer video on what Drizzle Drizzle is, but I'm probably not gonna to get too involved in this movement. I hope the movement takes off very well. I hope these gentlemen make a lot of money. I They certainly deserve it. But I am more the opinion of indifference. And what I mean by that is I really don't give a shit what women say most of the time because they're not paying my bills. They're not sleeping with me. They have no direct access to me. So when I put out content and women get mad about it, I don't typically retaliate. Now I do sometimes when the first thing they do is attack, I start going out to attack. But I have actually learned that even that um, doesn't really serve my overall purpose of my channel. So the Drizzle Drizzle movement, I love it. I am not going to participate <clears throat> in the parody videos uh, too much in them. I think they're funny as hell. Um, I think these two guys deserve um, all the success that, that I know they're going to get from this movement. And all the people who are kind of uh, creating these videos, I celebrate all of them. Anytime men who we've just had enough of women's fucking mouths. They just chirp. Now, I'm not saying that to be pissed. I'm not saying that to be vindictive, but the reality is 99% of everything out there, men, we created, we maintain currently. And so when women say they don't need us, they're lying. They know they need us, or you have to remind them that everything that they do a man probably invented, a man probably built, a man probably maintained. Even the job <clears throat> that most women go to, a man probably owns. And so the whole idea that they don't need a man, the whole idea that men are dumb, the whole idea that men are worthless, this is how the drizzle drizzle phase came up. We're just looking for our soft guy error. Now, Again, it's supposed to be funny, but women now are taking offense to it. And this is what I like the most about it. Like I said, once they take offense and get pissed, 
Now you know you're starting to get to them. Now you know that they're like, fuck, all right, the men are ganging up now. And once men put our minds behind something and get behind a movement, we will destroy the sprinkle sprinkle movement. And this is what's happening in real time. You can see it. The next clip that I wanted just to show you guys is the sprinkle sprinkle lady. Have started saying drizzle drizzle like sprinkle sprinkle. It's a new generation of men so are, are so feminine. <laughs> drizzle drizzle. I thought they were talking about Drake. It doesn't stick as good as sprinkle sprinkle though. Sound like they're actually drooling. <laughs> The men that are making fun of the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement are aka also making fun of her and her ideology about how men should be treated. Now, I don't know anything about her, um, but I have watched some of her videos and just like some men are toxic, she's a toxic woman. It, it is what it is. And it's up to each individual to take this information, digest it, see if it makes sense for them. If it doesn't make sense for you, well then disregard it. I don't have a whole lot left in this. I, I wanted to really point out that indifference makes all the difference with women. When women start getting f mad and they start using sign language and swearing at you and saying you're stupid, you know now they just went to child mode. They just went to full retard mode because they can't back up their position. And so anytime women get into this position, also when men, when men start getting emotional like this, you know they're losing their frame. They're losing their own masculine frame. And so they're starting to lose their position, what they originally started at. Their, their sense of self is actually starting to fall apart in real time. And so they have to result to insults. I am of the opinion to just ignore them because that actually pisses them off more when you don't even acknowledge the fact that they called you names. It's funnier that way to me. It's not being a bitch. It's not cowering to these women. It's just like you, you don't matter enough to even acknowledge you as somebody who's just make fun of you because they don't. That's all I got on this one, guys. Like I said, take a, take a good look at these two guys, these influencers, go like their page. They have great content on their YouTubes and, and they're funny guys. And they're also very, uh, you can tell that they're very smart and they're just fed up like most guys are on how women treat men these days and really how society has programmed women to treat men. And I'm of the same opinion. With that, have a great day guys and we will talk soon.